Hello guys, welcome to our channel Coding with Karthik. This session we are going to create these graphics using Python Turtle. So in the last video I have made one like uh, about how to create the similar visual with Python Turtle. So there uh, I explained how to use the color system and, uh, and also speed these this basic things like how to set the busy color and you can set the screen size also of the output right so there are like many things i just in the previous session so you can check my video like uh, even I, I will give that link in the description so later you can check it yeah now let's jump into the code so here are the basic things we have uh, we are importing turtle as the tr and importing color system as cs and we are setting up speed as zero and we are setting the background color of the output as black so and width is two okay now yeah width is nothing but pen width now see like first we'll go one way that means we are going to write for loop to generate that recursive design in the output so first i will show you how to generate one of those then we'll just iterate that and finally we'll apply the colored pattern to the uh, like to get the expected output as we can see here now just i'm just writing one like uh, for i n range of first let me generate only one so for now i'll just go with color right so later we'll apply that color system properly first you understand how it is working then you will apply we can apply that color system using this color c colors this module right we can use that module and we can uh we can generate the color patterns as per our require like as per our design it, it's not fixed you can just change based on your output if you want to that is all depends on like how how you want to like how you want to make that output right okay for now i'm just making it as red okay that means the pen color i'm setting it as a red now see like in the output right so this is like like for e each section we have one kind of rhombus or what you can like it's kind of square or rhombus thing and again we have the circular at first let me gen a circle let me generate the pattern then we'll iterate this using for loop and we'll, we'll generate we'll, we'll just complete this entire graphics right entire uh, visual output now yeah here let me just forward the pen to the hundred okay and next and just left to 60 left means we are what are the angle right the turtle is turned to the left 60 degrees now i'm just forwarding again like 200 so again i'm just uh Turning right to the 120 degrees, and now I'm just creating circle of just 50. It's up to like you can make bigger circles. So I'm just making 50, and next is again that the left of what is that's 240 around 240. You have to set, and I'm just forwarding 100. Left of sixty forward up. See now let me just let me run this code now, okay? Let me stop the output. See okay. the output is how it looks right. Let me even change the speed to like maybe instead of zero, I will set it up one to slow the I mean to see the slow motion output right so either you can set to 10 or 0 to get the like fast output like to increase the speed like to have the maximum speed you can set at 0 or 10 i'm just setting up one so to have the minimum speed see how it is right so it is another circle and it's all like how we have given in the code right so for first it will give that forward line again it will like left 60 forward and it will, it will create the circle 
and again it will forward 100 it's kind of we are generating this single pattern in the output right we are able to generate it now the next one should be like slightly the next one like but to get the expert out it should be like slightly like it should start from like next to the previous one it's like slight difference should be there right that means to this current product we have to change that angle to generate like in the same position but it's slightly maybe uh left or right to the this this output right i mean the current output so to generate that what i will do is i will just change this total left to 122 like if i give 120 then it will be on the exact path okay it will be on the exact uh like there won't be any difference okay let me generate two things okay if I run the code <clears throat> okay it is generating the first one now after that if i give 120 again it will be on the same same output right there won't be any difference there won't be any pattern we can see right so to differentiate the each pattern each one right i'm just increasing the like two degrees okay now i'm increasing the speed to again 10 or 0 i am just going to 0 to have the maximum speed but first let, let's see the like output in slow motion then we'll just increase the uh, speed it's generating the circle and forward 100 now see if you give the 121 it is like slightly differentiated from the previous position right so this is how we have to like while well, writing code we have to understand this turtle position okay uh like how how much we should rotate or what should be the like uh, i mean what should be the uh, length of the each each coordinate like we should understand that then okay as we have to do the trial and error so it depends on that we can get the output right now yeah now we can clearly say we are able to generate the patterns in circular manner right so now i'm just going back to the speed zero to have the maximum speed and uh, if i'm going to set it a 180 things why i'm setting 180 right because for each pattern we are like it's kind of we're increasing like basically the difference between the each pattern is like two degrees so that's why i'm going for 180 so 180 into 2 is 360 so we'll have we'll have the complete circular view so that's why i'm just going for the 180 if you go for 121 differentiation right it's kind of basically don't consider 120 plus 1 right that means one degree variation for each pattern then you have to go for 360 range because we are given the two degrees separation between each pattern so that's why i'm going for the range of 180 now let's see the output see how it is generating so each pattern have the two degrees gap so that's why we have given the 180 iteration so 180 into 2 360 so it will be completed like the entire 360 circle will be completed so this is how we have to be like clear on uh like how much iterations we should give and what should the gap between the each pattern so everything in a control you just have to understand and you have to utilize you have to apply that logic properly to get the output that's it anyways we'll come with that uh, that 360 degree circle now let's apply the color pattern like here here i'm telling this no standard pattern it's it's up to you like whatever the color pattern you want you can just apply it now i'm going to use csv sorry i mean that means color system module so i just rename like uh, alias as cs right so i'm using cs start hsv.rgb now so to get the output right like to get the expected output basically we are starting from red color dark mode red color and again it is go it is slowly decreasing the color again after decreasing the color we again we are going back to the red color so until we are completing that circle that in the color pattern right now what i will do is like uh first uh what what we can do is yeah, let me do one thing so i'm just going for absolute mode. like as i told you this hsv to rgp will accept like a three pad i mean uh now what is that three values first one is kind of 
for you it, it's kind of like it's kind of color more we can say exact i mean it's kind of different color value we have to provide from zero to one so zero will start in like uh, it's kind of zero to one and next is uh s uh, i think that is saturation so the saturation should be like that is kind of we can say like the gradient color right uh it's kind of from lighter mode to dark or something it, it is kind of saturation the level of uh color the, uh, what is it the thickness of the color and next is the uh, value which is kind of some kind of brightness or lightness to the color so that is also from that should be all zero to one so basically we'll go for one other if you go for zero it will be like black there won't be any differentiation so basically any color will start from the dark uh, black to the actual color uh, that is kind of brightness uh, adjustment so that's why in the last parameter always be one but but we have to adjust first two parameters to get the proper output to, to, to get the proper color system right now you can check like you can understand hsv what is the color pattern you can check what is rgb color pattern you can check this method what are the parameters you have to pass right so that's but the final thing you have to pass from the zero to one okay yeah now like uh, what i'm trying to do suppose this i values keep increasing right so whenever the i values like uh basically we want to generate like zero to one okay now like sorry zero to one now what i want to do is like uh this is pattern like what i want to do is like till 90 values whenever uh like till i is 90 right i want to generate color pattern like uh what do you mean like uh one two zero okay again it's it's up to you like a zero to one one panel the value should be between the zero and one and again like when color like uh like when i is uh greater than 90 right then like i want to generate colors like zero to one so that means the entire color pattern in the circular like how it is going to be like one to zero so one to zero again it will set back to the like one so it will start from one panel it, it will end with the one but in between we are we just decrease that color pattern i mean that suggestion everything and again we'll increase the color pattern to the one so for that i will use absolute method so because it should not be minus always should be positive so that's i'm going to use absolute method i'm using 90 minus i by 90 okay again i'm going to use the same thing for second parameter also 90 minus sign by 90 and the final value anyways will go for one okay now let's see the output okay so the search like what are the color pattern it is keep changing and along with that the saturation is keep like this keep decreasing from one to zero okay that's why it's like uh, whenever the i value is one like it's kind of uh what does the code like 90 minus zero is 90 by 90 is one and in i value let's say 45 45 by 90 is one like 0 0.5 when i value is 90 90 by 9 like it's kind of it's very like 1 by 90 is kind of uh 0 0.01 when i sorry when i value is 90 90 minus 90 is zero so that means we are just going from the one to zero and again we are setting back to the zero to one because the eye is keep increasing we are just doing some calculation to get the to get this to get the value in between the range of uh, one zero and one see this is how so finally if you see the output right how it is like it started from like uh red and is slowly like decreasing the saturation to like it's finally like at this after one eight like whenever i value is in it's it's kind of the value the color value is kind of uh, what is that zero zero one and when i values again keep in 91 92 like when i value is more than 90 91 92 then the i value keep increasing like 0 0.01 0 0.0, 0 .0. something will be finally into the again it will set back to the one so that's why the color seems to be like it's kind of a joint like the the entire cycle is kind of it's not like uh, like we are generating the patterns we are it's it, it's it's like now complete circle we are attaching the circle properly right 
so this is how we can get this uh, get the output so i hope you understand the concept of how we can use a color system but also you understand how this uh, turtle like left turn we can turn the angle of the uh, angle and also like it's all deep, how we can uh, create the circle using the python turtle so there are like if you understand the basic these things are very easy to handle and you have you can control it like however you want to get the output and how you like what are the color you want to apply so that's all depends on how we manage the code that's it guys okay yeah so i like so like i hope you like the session and please like please to encourage me just like the video and share and subscribe to the channel and please share to your friends so by that whoever wants to like whoever have the interest into the python turtle they can just understand and uh, they can also try to learn the coding and it will create the interest in the people like in you guys to get into the coding easy like easily and then you will like you can after that like when you become a professional it will be like it's not like not professional when you when you go for like uh graduation right so then you will it will be easy for you to handle any kind of coding right yeah anyways thank you for watching this video and please like share and subscribe